Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, welcome back to the New King City review here. So, what I've got up here, so basically, I just got it back started on this New King City. Now, what I'm going to be showing you guys is now I'm going to be showing you the Dunkin' Donuts. Now, yes, I do want to tell you that some of these guys well, are from from somebody that I had used to create some of these buildings. I've got one building right now, so that's why you got all these materials down here. And plus, I've been working on framing out or like working on the New King City Railway because. I'm not sure because, just for some reason, but, <clears throat> anyway, moving on. So, another sign here, which says, the Grande Burrito, the biggest breakfast sandwich has shown been the breakfast burrito, y'all. Time hours, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., which, obviously, it would sound pretty good. Let's see. Sure, that sun is out. Alright, so anyway, if you want, if you're wondering, this is also a coffee house as well, so there's plenty of seats, a little table area where you order your food. This is where employees would normally go up and get people's orders done. Probably out some court stairs right there for just a few seconds. Alright, here is the bathroom, male and female. This is the male. No, there's not much water. I can't mess out with it. And a female. More luxurious, more wood. Alright. So, what you may probably notice is that this Dunkin' Donuts, if you ever look at outside view, it will normally say a coffee logo and the word Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not sure why, but it'll be a little too small. The words will be too big to fit in this little area, so decide not to do that. Yeah, and the builder was named TSMC. If you guys do follow him, if you guys do like Minecraft, please follow him, because he is awesome. So what I got here is... So what I got here is some drive throughs right here. This is your entrance. And unlike the BK, it does not go all the way around the restaurant. It's just goes right here. Then you make like a U-turn. Or should say... What I call an M turn. Like that. And you just head that way, etc. Well, anyway. So, what I got up here next is a WWE boxing ring. Now, yes, it does look cool. And I told you guys about that big pyramid right over here. Probably one of the biggest ones. So, yeah, this boxing ring does look cool. In fact. Here is how you can tell it's awesome. Because normally when you go to a boxing UFC championship, then you'll normally see this roll right here, specifically where I am. And yeah, there's like the word raw on two sides and well, etc. But one thing is this could be one of the ultimate sports if you guys like like wrestling if you guys do like that all right anyway moving on so what i got over here is a ender dragon house if you guys do ever mention that if you guys like minecraft and you like the ender dragons you should probably build this one yep like i said most of these projects are from tsmc but I feel like some of these buildings are cool, and I like to add them to 
a city. So this is one particular example. Created by the Gnome Builders Incorporation, you'll normally find this house pretty rare now these days. I don't know, I bet nobody had even made the house yet in real life. But if they do, I'm not sure how's it going to happen, and I'm not sure why. So here we see fire coming out, also known as lava. And to get in, you'll just have to simply climb this ladder, climb up the stairs, and simply just go in. Now, most of the perimeter in here is lined up with glowstone. You have the area in this interior. In here, you will find a twin bed, which is also known as the area where I sleep, which I'm not going to show you how I sleep, obviously. There's a crafted table in case if I don't to be crafted something. And if you do notice, it is the Ender Dragon House is actually a head only, not a statue. And believe it or not, at the end of this video, not this specific part, but whenever I get done with the tour of New King City, I will show that statue how much I've a guy done. I got most of it done. I just need to 3D eyes the four legs or the legs and the four arms. Not sure if I'm gonna be doing that for the four arms, but I know I'm gonna do it for the legs. Otherwise it wouldn't be an Ender Dragon. Obviously. Now the Ender Dragon statue is actually made out of black wool, but for this specific type it is made out of obsidian. A pretty cool material. Only find it when you pour water on lava. Alright. So, what you got right here is a GameStop. Yes, I like video games, so you will normally find this GameStop very interesting to you guys. So, what you got over here is lots of cool video games. Um, there's lots of cool stuff. Wii video games, Nintendo DS games, however, no cartridge games. Sorry, cartridge games, you're going to have to buy off eBay. Right here is where you're going to have to pay for the video games or just ask for a video game that you want to buy that ain't on the shelves over there. In here is an employee on the room where in case if they don't have what they need, they could grab some stuff over here. Very cool. Alright, so what is next off here is that so what's next is the Titan Tower. Really, this is another project by TSMC. It's also that GameStop and the Ender Dragon House and the Ring. Also, I average rank over here is made by TSMC. But I just like to add it in here because it's a pretty cool thing to do. Well, however, if you do like Teen Titans, this is the building that you do want to build. This is called the Titan Tower. Took me a little bit to get this done. I mean, this thing is massive. Why, it just looks like a giant T. It's on a deserted island. So that's why I add some sand. And for the outside area of the Titan Tower, it is sitting on an island. There's a little bridge in case if you guys want to get up there. That's how this works. Just climb up these stairs, climb the ladder, then head this way towards the all natural Titan Tower. But it is empty, I'm not sure if I'm going to fully fill it in. I'm going to do the interior, but I know the exterior is 100% complete. Looks awesome. So, anyway, next thing. Another project here is a gumball house. It does look pretty cool. Lots of gumballs in there. So this area is a multi-color walkway right before I have to climb up or climb a stair. You have to climb up some stairs 
then you walk in and you have a bedroom over here, which is obviously it sometimes. If you walk up these stairs, which I forgot to simply just to add the stair, just forgot. So if you walk up these these stairs, then you will suddenly lead up to this this area, which is what I call the night out room, or I should say the lookout room, because to tell whenever it's night or not, this is one of my favorite areas to be at, because number one, you would normally be up here just for that specific reason because if you want to tell the moon's out then you could get ready to go to sleep that is why i like that room up there. it's not to be inside the gumball machine normally in order to get your gumballs out you have to put a corner turn this mechanism then the gumball should fall right out right here waiting for you anyway moving on so what I go over here is a nether castle. Believe it or not, this does look pretty cool. The interior of this thing is pretty awesome as well. Um, what you got over here is some flowers, some books, an enchantment area, some seats to entertain people. Obviously, my best spot. A brewing area, a crafting area, and an area where you will put some goodies. And over here is, well, over here is where I put some stuff. I'm not going to show you because there's absolutely zero anything in here, in these chests. But these, those are the areas where I normally will put stuff. Anyway, moving on. What I got here is a soccer field. A good way to play yourself some good old time football in English. Normally, they call it football. Americans call it soccer. Two ways you could call this. It does look pretty cool, however. Now, if you ever notice, the webs represents the net. And... These are the goals, suddenly right here, and if you do know the rules of soccer, you'll pretty much understand about this. This is what I call the New King City Soccer Field, the home of soccer, obviously. So, yeah. What I got here is a windmill house. Don't want to spend too much time because I want to show you the claw machine house at school. So. This is where I would normally have my treasures way over there. I'm not going to take you guys out there. So, when you go over here, this is my bed. Then, well, that's not really too, too much. So, it looks like a Dutch windmill. You'll find the Netherlands. It does look pretty cool. Anyway. Now, we got the awesome, awesome claw machine house. This is a, the one I just recently built. It does look awesome. I love it. I just want, want to make sure that I have this house sometime in my life. Because I like toys and all that good stuff, so that's our number one reason. This room is empty, however. But I'll probably have to fill it in here very soon. Alright. That's not much anything in here. Before I leave off, then, before I leave, I will have to show you these two creeper heads. Or, one creeper head and one enderman head. These could be considered toys. And there's a claw. And on the outside, you have the joystick. And where you put in your coins and a speaker. That is pretty cool. And there's a button. Anyway. So, alright guys, that is it for part two. 
I'll see you guys later.